Uh, so, you know, 2005, um, I had a, a meditation experience um, in which um, I recognized uh, uh, that I was uh, uh, always um, like um, a, an awake uh, person, uh, a Buddha, um, not just not just that I became one, but that I've always been that way, um, and I always, that's what I will be, um, so, uh, it's helpful on that, um, it allows me to, uh, see how other people, uh, think of their, uh, their, uh, experiences, um, as having, uh, like, uh, become awake, or, or, um, the way they think that it occurs, um, I can see that a lot of people are confused, um, they think that, um, they might, they, they want to, um, use, have an excuse to use, uh, drugs, like mushrooms, um, or the new, new thing is, like, ayahuasca, or to toad poison in South America. Um, um, so um, all all I see it is as is as an excuse uh, to just want to experience something. Um, I don't see it as um, what a lot of people are saying. It's a way to um, recognize um, that they're um, awake or that they're, um, or to have, like, an enlightening experience, um, because they want to, um, sell it to the public as a way to, uh, enlighten you, but, um, from what I see, it's definitely not, uh, an enlightening experience, um, and then, from my own experience, I know you don't need any, um, substance to uh, become um, enlightened. Um, so it's not just uh, these groups that are taking drugs, it's also in uh, any religious group, uh, Buddhism, Christianity, or Islam. Um, there's a lot of people that want to sell uh, the Buddhist teachings, um, thinking that they understand something like non-duality, um, or, uh, or calm abiding meditation, uh, without having experienced it themselves. So, um, I was, uh, fortunate, um, to have experienced what I did, um, and, um, like I said, it's not so much, the experience is, uh, really important, um, and it's allowed me to, uh, recognize that, uh, what the Buddha taught was true, um, and what the, the t authentic Tibetan monks teach is true. Um, when I had my, uh, uh shamatha experience, I was with, uh, a Tibet, Tibetan monk, um, and I didn't even know what, uh, state of mind it was. Um, I asked uh, him uh, during my this state of mind uh, what it was, and he uh, said it's uh, shamatha, which I didn't even know that term. I, I don't think I heard that term before. Um, so I know uh, what it's like to be uh, with a, a, an authentic uh, meditative state of mind. Um, so I know uh, there's a few teachers uh, like... Um, I can't remember his name. Um, he's a Tibetan monk, um, and uh, he um, he said uh, meditation is actually a really uh, unusual state, uh, a unique and uh, rare state for a human being to attain. Um, so uh, I know because of my experience that's true. Um, and uh, the monk at the monastery was able to identify it. Um, I probably couldn't identify it uh, myself in another person. I know, uh, like, an American wouldn't 
you know what was going on with another person. Um, so again, I was I'm extremely uh, fortunate um, to have um, had that experience, and um, it's. Um, So when I recognized uh, my Buddha nature, it was uh, outside of the monastery, um, and it's just as uh, they describe in uh, the Buddha t Buddhist text as uh, nirvana being uh, beyond concepts. So you can't explain it uh, to somebody. Um, um, the best I could do is uh, explain it as uh, seeing uh, time as understanding uh, through um, not just uh, thinking, but through uh, an experience how time and space are not um, as our ordinary mind sees them. Uh, they're completely um, like an illusion. Um, and because of that, um, the ability uh, that we have is um, beyond uh, an ordinary, an ordinary uh, person's con uh, conceivability of what our uh, minds are able to uh, uh, do. Um, I had a taste of this experience for about more than five minutes. Um, and then um, part of that experience was understanding how uh, the emotions too are um, not as what they seem. Um, you, you see how uh, emotions themselves are like an illusion and how um, what seems like suffering actually isn't even suffering. Um, so again, it's, it's uh, impossible to explain, um, but um, I know it's not just it's not just within my experience, but it's also in others because uh, they write about it. And uh, like Chogam Trungpa, um, like Zong, Zongzar uh, Rinpoche, um, they write about it. Um, and then Sadguru, um, he talks about meditation being like um, possessed. Um, like people in the West are, are afraid of. Um, Typically, even me, if I say possessed, uh, it triggers uh, this idea of uh, being possessed by like a demon. But when you're uh, when you're in a meditative state, um, you're you're possessed by um, a different. Uh, I, I don't even know what it is, um, but that's what it is like. Um, but you have control. You can uh, either accept it or you can deny it. And um, it's not, you know, um, it's not your um, imagination. You know, it's not a delusion. You know, it's not just thought. Um, it's a whole experience, uh, physically and mentally. Um, so, uh, again, um, the experience itself, uh, when it occurs, um, you just, it just seems uh, like nothing uh, really new. Uh, you know something extraordinary is happening, but um, it's almost as though um, you've always known that this is uh, part of the reality of life. And then, um, and then uh, after the experience, you just, I mean, it's hard not to dwell on what happened and then get carried away by what happened and want to talk about it with a lot of other people. And um, it becomes uh, in a, it becomes part of your ego, too. Um, or at least for me, that's kind of what happened. Um, but it's been uh, a long time since that uh, meditation experience. And... Um, I've uh, matured in some some sort of way, which I feel more comfortable um, with the experience, and I'm not 
I don't think I'm so attached to it anymore. And I understand um, uh, it's really, um, it's not um, like so special, I guess you could say, um, because I feel uh, through inference that uh, every uh, life form has the same uh, ability and uh, every life form has uh, this, this, uh, what I, what I felt uh, when I was in the monastery and in the state of mind was uh, this uh, just 100% feeling of being uh, what I would call like a noble uh, being, uh, like a noble, um, yeah, it's just uh, indescribable, like you just feel so uh, like uh, in harmony with everything, uh, with your body especially, um, everything feels uh, aligned and in peace, and uh, you just uh, feel, um, you just understand that you're a, a noble person, uh, and I feel that every person, every being actually is probably uh, that same type of, uh, I think it's just life, um, or maybe uh, you could call it um, maybe something like uh, God. So, yeah, I think that's probably enough.